Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Thank you so much for um, watching the I wish all my students knew these items before. Um, not only you know come to Berkeley or music school, just a little better to know a little bit more foundation, you see? Because if you know foundation, then you're ready to learn. So today, topic is bad habit. There's so many bad habits, but I think one at a time, just, you know, demonstrate. So, okay. So let me see. Let me play something like this. Oops. So I play B flat blues using root 7 third from 6 string root. Like that. I'm using 2nd, 3rd, 4th finger. Why? Because this way you can use your first finger to mute the harmonics, you know? Nice and clean, especially if you, you know, strumming too. And of course you play 1, 2, 3, the fingering, because if you play 13, but then if you play flat 5, this fingering is good and walking bass. And I play E flat 2 1 3 fingering. And I use my thumb a little bit to mute other strings. So I just played B flat blues with root 3rd 7 or root 7 3rd voicing. And when I teach this or something similar to like this, finger picking, okay. And a lot of people do this. And okay, sometimes, you know, you can do that, make it more groove, I understand. But if you do it all the time, then that we can call bad habit. Bad habit means Sometimes you can use that, but not all the time. And you do naturally. So that's what we call bad habit. But bad habit doesn't, you know, say all the way, oh, you shouldn't do this. You know, you can do that, but you choose to do it. So that's the difference. And a lot of students go, oh, yeah. The reason is, if I want to play, like, to me, having um, strong rhythm skill, and not so much hitting a uh, guitar, like, you know, um, beat, so that more room. Really cool, you know, that way. Do you know what I mean? So like... You have to feel the rhythm too. Simple. That's it. Let me do bad habit. Bad habit. Naturally, like this. Tell me. You like this? So another reason is like, you know, um, if you have a strong, strong uh, groove feeling, so like, I'm not sure exactly the tempo, the metronome, you know. So this is regular blues.
That's just a blues. Now I'm using Orange Oil, Eva Mahogany, Live. Live means electric, electric, you know, have, having a... Uh, I'm really into playing, so sorry. And I'm using One Control and One... Uh, BJF S100 and a speaker eminent eminent technology model 20 flat one so that's like an example you see if you don't do you know, chaka chaka chaka, it have more room for other person to play, you know, groove. Even if I don't do that, um, you know, like metronome now, metronome is grooving. So something like that. You see, I'm not saying this is bad. But then if you do this all the time, then I think problem. I think once I told this about this, to John, John Mayer, because John plays like that, because he's a singer-songwriter and uses acoustic guitar and solo, so he makes percussive sound. But then a lot of followers of John imitate that, and that become daily thing. Anything you play, it sounds like that. And John doesn't do that. He can really play more, you know, make a room and all that. And once I told him, Oh, I never thought about that. That's really choices, you know. Cho so, like, in other words, this is a choice. This way, a lot of room for you. But if I play this, that's cool. But if you do it all the time, let's get tired, you know, that's all. Just that idea, okay? So, here we go. This guitar, Orange Wood, Eva Mahogany Live. Really, really good guitar. And very easy to uh, maintain because maintenance free, really. And then truss rod this side, so if you can, uh, you know, depends on the weather, you can, you know, change the neck angle a little bit. It's very easy to play and has a, you know, microphone, really nice. To this uh, piezo and then, you know, some something, uh, to two pickups. And I'm using um, here, Eminent Technology um, Model 20. This is a really nice speaker. I mean, it's really, really nice. And... Um, They came up like a smaller one, so you see, like this one, like that, you know. They came up a smaller one now, which is really cool. I don't really receive that yet, but just, you know, um, they came up with a preamp in it, so like really great. Just plug in the play, and you know, really easy. And then one control. Uh, this, this, this unit is really amazing. I've been playing this in a few gigs like this, and so the bottom, bottom is a clean tone, so like... That's clean tone. I'm using a <clears throat> Beth Reverb, like a reverb, a new reverb from One Control. And then they have a Lee channel, so you can have a distortion too. It's really cool. So that's it. I'm just using something really simple. 
Okay, I hope you understand bad habit or choice. Different, okay? Thank you so much for watching Tomohita Music. If you like my channel, Tomohita Music, please subscribe here and support this channel. Then I can make more video. How is that? That's good, right? And of course, very welcome to join my guitar wisdom. That's where more details, you know, and like this, you know, fingering form and a lot of details. If you want to learn jazz blues, standards, everything there. All right. Have a good day. See you soon. Take care.